Hello guys! Today, I'm going to do an experiment which part of my science class activity. But before that, I want to greet my science teacher, Teacher Claudine Villanueva, and to all my, all my teachers in MCS and all my classmates. is to identify special properties of matter. So what materials needed we have? So we have water in a drinking glass and a piece of cloth, a paper clip, paper clip, it's a yellow paper clip and rubber band, yep, orange rubber band, and um, a uh, tang juice uh, powder and the first thing and also don't forget the cork don't forget it don't forget it oh I mean I don't know if you can see but it's cork okay so the first thing we will do is spill some water on this table then we will wipe the water with the pre with the piece of cloth so let us observe what happens all right Okay, and then you do this, wipe. you wipe it. As we can see, the cloud absorbs the water. And what special property demonstrated by the piece of cloth? The special property that has ability to absorb much water is what you call porosity. Porous materials have pores or tiny holes that enable to them to hold mixture up to a certain amount. Now let's take the paper clip and bend it forward and backward. What did you observe? Okay, I cannot Alright. What do you observe? The paper clip can bend, turn or twisted because they have a special property called flexibility or the ability of a material to bend without breaking now let's take a rubber band let us stretch it as far as we can without breaking it and then release it so yeah now okay it exhibits elasticity a rubber band is a material that exhibits elasticity. It has the ability to be stretched and returned to its original shape and size after being stretched. Rubber bands and garters are example of elastic materials. Now let us take the remaining water and pack of juice powder. Okay, so we will prepare a juice. Okay. Look closely. And then I stir it. Is this good or not? Okay. What happens when I add... What do you observe? Guys, what did you observe? You watching? What happens when I add the fruit juice powder to a water and I stir it? Can you still see the granules of fruit powder after stirring? The answer is no. You cannot see the fruit powder anymore. The fruit powder, the juice powder, is a material that exhibits the solubility. It has an ability to dissolve in a liquid. Now, last one is cork. Let's take a cork and place it in a basin of water. Let us see what happens. So, this is the basin of water. Let us place it. Okay. As you can see, the cork flows in the basin of water. The cork that floats in the water has buoyancy or the ability of an object to float in a fluid. It is already floating. It's not sinking or it's floating. So that's guys, okay? Did you mm -hmm. know that the ability of an object to float or sink in water depends on its density? It is said that an object that has lesser density will float in water. 
but the material will sink if the material's density is greater than that of the liquid. Okay, that's the end of my of my experiment. I learned that other than the physical and chemical properties, some objects also have special properties or those characteristics that are based on the object's internal structure, just like what I did today. The materials demonstrated the special properties such as porosity, flexibility, elasticity, solubility, and buoyancy. So that's all for today. I hope you guys learned also learn in my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share my videos. And those for who are not subscribed yet, please subscribe it now. It will appreciate me. And please like my Facebook page and see guys. It will be linked in the description down below. Thank you. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. Okay.